have you been wanting to lose weight for the longest time but you're just tired of all the conflicting information like you've got people saying do carnivore or do keto take a zempic which is like lizard venom <laughs> and that will shed the fat drink this apple cider vinegar all these kind of faddy approaches and quick fixes and like approaches to exercise some people are saying you've got to do like blindfolded jumping jacks whilst on a trampoline <laughs> or some like thing they've just plucked out of thin air and yeah it's confusing if you're feeling overwhelmed by all of this conflicting advice i'm going to be taking you through the three step simple process that julia and i worked on to effortlessly lose weight and she really enjoyed the process and she's still losing weight now and just feeling really good mind body and soul just heard a little rustle in the bushes <laughs> and the first step that none of these lose weight fast gurus are going to tell you because it's not sexy is you've got to know your why you've got to know your reason for wanting to lose the weight because when the why is strong enough then the how it just sorts itself out like you'll figure out a way but you've got to have a burning why it's got to be either painful or really highly desirable and pleasurable for you to achieve this so an actionable step is just to write down as many reasons why you want to lose this weight as possible so for example you might want to lose the weight so you can fit into the jeans that might be like the surface level you want to fit into those jeans so you can go to a family gathering and everyone can compliment you but then at a deeper level it also impacts your self-esteem because when you lose the weight and you feel confident you're in those jeans you feel better and then as a result maybe you do better in your job maybe you do better in your relationships maybe you're more present with your kids who knows the knock-on effects are like you know the possibilities are limitless of the butterfly effect once you make one change then it positively impacts every other area of your life. So my actionable step for you is just to write down at least three reasons why losing this weight would be beneficial for you. And it could be negative. If you haven't got any like positive things, it could be just so, like for example, so I'm not a burden for my family, so I don't have a heart attack. So people don't criticize me or things like that. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't personally like to focus on the negative, but if you think about the negative consequence of staying the same or of gaining more weight and then you flip it into a positive then that's a good way of doing it if you can't like actively seek out like positive benefits if you're in a bit of a negative headspace which is totally understandable then just find all the negatives of being overweight and flip it into a positive and that's what will happen when you lose the weight now step number two let's get tactical and practical because knowing your why is really important but it's one thing knowing the kind of motivating factors but you need to know what to do like actionably and practically and that's hopefully where i can save you a lot of pain and suffering of these fad diets and other approaches so essentially if you want to lose weight it's really really simple you've got to be in a slight calorie deficit now i know what a lot of people say about calories they say like it's not the most accurate model and that is kind of true but it's a great rough estimation of how much you're eating in a day I do apologize for the wind here hopefully it's not picking it up but yeah it's a rough estimation and all you got to do is just eat a little bit less in terms of calories now this doesn't mean you have to restrict your portions it just means you've got to pick healthier foods now for example i personally advocate for a raw vegan diet which is just a lot of fruits and veggies eaten in their raw state because this makes me feel my best and there's so many other people who i've interviewed who are thriving on this lifestyle as well and there's so many benefits to the lifestyle like for example more energy no mental clarity uh, mental clarity <laughs> no brain fog no like grogginess when you wake up in the morning no body odor it's a lot more effortless to be lean there's just so many more benefits but that's another video that i <laughs> made on the subject but essentially you want to be in a slight calorie deficit so you want to just on chronometer or my fitness pal just input one day or two days or three days of what you typically eat and just have a look see where you're at a rough estimate for uh, women is like 2000 calories depending on your activity levels and for guys it's two and a half thousand calories but if you're more active this is gonna drastically vary and all you want to do is slightly reduce it to maybe five to seven hundred and fifty calorie deficit so if you cut it down by 500 calories then you're going to lose one pound or one just under half a kilo per week is 0.45 kilograms per week or one pound and if you go 750 then you'll lose 1.5 pounds per week but going anything above that is just going to be too extreme and it's just going to result in just too much weight loss 
oh, lost me there. And it's gonna impact your hormones. You're gonna be like <laughs> a nasty, miserable person to be around. So you don't wanna go below 750 calorie deficit. Otherwise it's just gonna ruin your hormones. And it's just gonna be unpleasant and not fun. And my whole approach and what I take my clients through is more of a lifestyle of abundance. Like it's gotta be fun, it's gotta be enjoyable. You've gotta be eating more food than you've ever eaten, but it's just the right foods, which links onto the next point, the right foods. <laughs> now, obviously I'm biased. I think fruits and veggies are the best and they make me feel the best. And like I said, it makes a lot of other people feel good. And that's basic. Even your doctor will tell you eat like five a day, get an arm ache here. <laughs> we'll tell you <laughs> eat your five a day and that's basic but obviously it's been a big sigh up on like anti-fruit anti-vegetables especially like i understand some vegetables aren't the best you have to cook them but vegetables that you can eat raw like leafy greens like lettuce and then the botanical fruits like cucumbers tomatoes bell peppers things like that they're perfectly fine to eat raw and they're really hydrating full of nutrients full of vitamins and minerals and they make you feel good and the great thing is calorie density when you understand this subject it makes it so much more easy to lose weight for example 100 grams of oats is like 380 calories one kilogram so 10 times the amount of weight of watermelon is 300 calories so less calories but 10 times the volume and watermelons way higher in water way higher in like vitamins and it's gonna make you feel good <laughs> like i remember i did a week on just watermelon which i wouldn't recommend for most people but it's like a good little cleanse and i've never had energy like it and i've never had blood flow like it it's really like a superfood watermelon so yeah if you replace your breakfast with a kilogram of watermelon which is probably like the size of my head <laughs> a lot of watermelon flesh you're going to be full for a good couple of hours it's going to be light on your digestive system because you don't need to be eating a lot early in the morning and it's going to hydrate you like i said and you're going to feel good so just understanding calorie density you can eat more of healthy foods because your stomach it has things called stretch receptors that they register when you're full when your stomach is like expanded and full up with enough volume so when you eat calorie dense processed foods whether it's nut butters oils any processed food burgers they're very small in volume and reasonably low in weight, but high in calories. So you're still craving something. And when you crave something, it's either because you haven't eaten enough to fill up your stomach or your body isn't getting the right nutrients, the right vitamins and minerals from the food. So we not only have calorie needs, but we have vitamin and mineral needs. So by eating fruits and veggies, especially early in the morning, it's gonna satiate those cravings. And then if you choose to have something cooked in the evening, like a simple cooked meal, then, you know, it's gonna be not as detrimental, but you definitely wanna start off your day with the juicy things. And previously where maybe let's say you'd eat like sweets or candy, candy man <laughs> for people in the States, you could replace it with fruit because that's nature's candy, nature's sweets. like grapes cotton candy grapes i'd rather eat them than a, uh, a bag of skittles which are like sweets if any of you don't know candy so yeah but it's about training your taste buds so you've got to be kind to yourself you've got to give yourself time to adapt to these changes and these new foods because your gut microbiome it takes time to adapt it takes time for the bacteria to adjust to the new foods and the higher fiber content because your gut bacteria all it does is it craves whatever you feed it. So if you're used to feeding it like McDonald's and you know, all these processed foods, it's gonna crave that. But when you slowly introduce more fruits and veg, it really rewards you long-term. Like your gut bacteria adjust to that and then you have a different gut microbiome for those new foods. And ultimately you then begin craving healthy foods. Like I've been vegan six years, raw vegan for 12 months strict. And then the past like 10 months or so on and off, some days I'll have like steamed veggies in the evening, things like that. So very, very healthy by most people's standards. And I don't crave sweets. I don't crave any of those things because one, my gut's used to it now. And two, I eat enough fruit 
if you have sweet cravings, you've just got to eat more fruit. And if you have savory cravings, like salty cravings, see if we can get a better angle, then you've got to eat more veg, more things higher in sodium naturally, like celery, tomatoes, things like that. And yeah, just make it fun for yourself. Make recipes that you enjoy. Banana and ice cream, which is just frozen bananas blended up, and you can blend it up with other fruits. That is honestly tastier than any ice cream I've ever had. And it's way more nutritious and delicious. So if you're craving something sweet, go for fruit that you really enjoy. Bananas, mangoes, whatever it is. If you've got access to papaya, stuff like that, great. If you're in the UK, grapes are good. Frozen fruit's good. Dates are good, blended in a smoothie. So just, this lifestyle is, it's gotta be fun. So eat fruits you enjoy and yeah, do it with a smile on your face. And there's plenty more videos on my channel about diet, so I won't go into it too much here. But um, yeah, that covers a lot of the basics and it would save me a lot of trial and error of research and different diets. So if you go on chronometer quickly and you input your height, your weight, how active you are, and then how much weight you wanna lose, which I wouldn't recommend more than one pound or 1.5 pounds per week, then it will give you the exact rough, <laughs> it's not really exact, the rough amount of calories that you burn and the rough amount you should be eating. And yeah, the final part, step three, it wouldn't be a good video if I didn't talk about exercise because there's so, so many benefits. But for a lot of people, they hear the word exercise and it's like, <clears throat> <laughs> oh no, that means running. But that's not my philosophy at all. You've got to do what you enjoy. So for the longest time, you know, from like six or seven to like 18, 19, I played football full time and I really enjoyed it. But then I stopped enjoying it. So now I just do other forms of exercise that I enjoy. And that's perfectly normal and perfectly fine. Just, you just got to do things you enjoy, like running, for example. 20 minutes running at like a, I think it's a seven minute mile pace for a 200 pound man, so quite a big guy. That only burns like 445 calories. And 20 minutes of running at that pace, you know, it's hard, it's not fun, unless you enjoy it, which then go for it. But compare that to 10,000 steps a day, which is a little over an hour, an hour and a bit of walking at like a brisk pace, so a little bit quicker than what I'm walking at now. That burns like 500 and something calories. I'll put on screen now the exact number but it burns more and it's more fun. For me, it's more enjoyable. I'm out in nature, I'm filming, I'm getting steps in. I don't personally need to lose weight, but if I did, this is, this is perfect. It burns through fat really well as well because it's steady, it's slow, it's steady. You're tapping into ketosis. You're not burning through your glycogen stores as much because it's not intense. Glycogen is just stored glucose in the muscles and that's just sugar in the muscles. And if I was to do a sprint now, I'd initially burn through that because it's really intense. But walking, you can do this all day. Great way to burn calories. You don't need to run if you don't enjoy it. You just got to do something you enjoy. Some examples of things that I find fun. You've got skipping, trampolining, walking. Football's still reasonably fun. I don't play it anymore just because of the. I stopped enjoying the whole team environment. But just even like taking a ball in your garden, playing a bit of basketball, whatever it is, yoga, just get moving because when you move, you stimulate your lymph lymphatic system. I think it's a bit windy again. <laughs> you stimulate your lymphatic system, which moves around all the toxins in your body. And it's so good for mental health, especially if you play a social sport, which I'm not currently doing at the minute, but football, it was good for, at the time, meeting people who I was kind of half, half similar to and you've got a team environment if you can find a good team that is but if not just even joining like a local running club if you are into running but if you like walking even walking around here you never know who you might meet I haven't seen anyone in like 45 minutes <laughs> but you might meet someone there's so many benefits just get moving daily at least half an hour i'd say preferably an hour just out in the fresh air, getting vitamin D on your skin. Another quick tip is just to do resistance training as well, two to three times a week. So either do calisthenics, so like push-ups, pull-ups, body weight things, like squats, things like that, or lift weights. Just do something that involves working your muscles, um, you know, against the weight or any form of resistance, whether it's your body weight. And yeah, because you don't want to just lose weight and lose all kind of shape. You don't want to lose your muscle mass as well. So if you continue working out whilst you're losing weight, 
you'll actually build a little bit of muscle, you'll lean out, you'll get definition, and you won't have all this loose skin necessarily. And it's just gonna be, you're just gonna look and feel better. And you know, that feeling after a workout is really good. And if you wanna motivate yourself to work out, then you've got to focus on how you're gonna feel afterwards. Focus on the benefits, focus on how you're gonna feel. And you know, warm up, see how you feel. Because usually once you get going, you feel really good. So yeah, exercising, it makes it a lot easier to get in a calorie deficit as well. So if you move more, you can eat more and still be in a deficit. All a calorie deficit means is you are taking in less calories from food than you're burning. So if I burn 2,500 calories just existing, just for my bodily functions, metabolism, and then a bit of walking in a day, and I eat 2,300, I'm gonna be in a 200 calorie deficit, which is great. It's gonna mean I lose weight, not quite as fast as most of you would want, which is why I'd recommend 500 to 750 deficit which is going to be one pound to 1.5 pounds lost per week as i said earlier and because of your exercising you like i said you can eat more and it's just more enjoyable everything functions better your digestion your mood is better energy everything and it's just about finding healthy and sustainable ways to exercise and not making it unnecessarily unpleasant it's got to be fun it's got to be enjoyable said that about 10 times but i can't stress it enough because life's too short to do things you don't you don't really enjoy if it's abhorrent to your soul why are you doing it <laughs> you got to make it fun whether that's putting music on walking with someone you know whatever you can do just try and make it as pleasurable for yourself as possible and another little tip put your shoes by the door <laughs> you want to you want to have as minimal friction to exercise as possible if you like doing skipping like I do in the morning, put it near the door, somewhere like that. So you're not having to like go around in a box, get it out, make it easy for yourself. And conversely, make the harder, make the um, less desirable habits a lot more frictionful and harder. So if you've got donuts in the house, let's see if this way is a little bit less windy. If you've got donuts in the house, well, ideally throw them out or give them to someone or something like that. But if not, put them somewhere awkward. Put them on top of the fridge or somewhere inaccessible. And it's just going to be so much harder and less tempting. You're not even having to see the donuts. So it's not triggering that, that little cue to eat one. And then if you've got exercise equipment out in front of you, you're going to be more likely to do it. So yeah, make it fun. And if you want to work one-to-one -one with me to lose the weight, get a step-by-step -step custom plan like I did with Julia, make it fun, enjoyable, have support and accountability along the way, which is super important. Then top link in the description, you can book a call with me to see if we're a good fit. And yeah, also got a free community, not quite as much support from me in there, but it's still full of other like-minded people and that's second link in the description. But anyway, enjoy your day, get out in nature, peace and love.